Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. Today we're doing another let's play here on Leapfrog. We got Gale kind of like trapped and staring at the camera, begging, pleading for help because I have her just absolutely trapped here as you can see. So we will let her free. You can leave now Gale. Thank you for your service. Thank you. She just gave me the side eye like yeah you better not freaking trap me again but yeah anyways all my villagers are out and about look at this we got two little froggies we got velma we even have our man egbert he's eating a freaking donut so i guess i will go empty my inventory because it's yeah i figured today we could go ahead and do the may day event the maze thingy whatever i honestly didn't even look at the most recent trailer for like the update so i have no idea what's happening like whatsoever at any point in time both in animal crossing and outside of animal crossing but that's besides the point i think i did hear people say that they changed some stuff like they made the maze a little bit harder or something along those lines so i'm excited to go and i don't know test my skills i'm pretty sure last year i ended up just giving in and looking up a guide for it because it was so hard this tour is organized by tom nook and they want me to go empty-handed um i'm kind of suspicious like is this a trap all right we're here okay wilbur might give us a hint or two all right um i can't i honestly don't even remember if this is exactly the same or different from last year but we'll we'll see i guess okay so we got a shovel obviously we have to start here okay now we got this little piece of fruit and then we very obviously eat the fruit now we can get this tree there's already wood here. We got some more fruit. Eat that tasty fruit. Now we can break the rock. There's also that tree. Oh my god, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed. I feel like I'm not doing these things in the correct order and that makes me really scared. I think this is correct. And then we can jump over here. And now we can go through here. Dig up the tree. Okay, okay. I might just make it home in time for dinner after all. Now here it gets tricky. I'm gonna pick up all of this stuff first, just in case. Do I have another piece of fruit? I do have another piece of fruit. So I could go for the tree. I think I'm gonna go for the tree, this tree. And then look, just look at, look at this boy up there. He is just chilling. Like help me, please. So. A dead end. Oh my god, I love that. No, does that mean I have to restart this? Oh my god, no. Please no. I think that means I have to restart this. Let's let's just go around the other way and see if going the opposite way does anything at all. Okay, so I'm back at the entrance. Now we have the bush path that we can go to. Um, I'm still trapped, which is cool. I think I have to restart at this point. I think I need to do everything the same way I did it, which I don't know how I'm going to remember that, but do everything the exact same way except I need an extra fruit to come over here, I think. And then how do you make a ladder? I need to make sure I have that much wood. Why does the ladder take so much freaking wood? What the heck? This is an utter ripoff. I don't even have all of that right now. Two soft wood over there. Well, where's the other hardwood that I need? Bro, I don't freaking know. Okay, but I think regardless, we are going to start over. What is up, rescue service? So listen, I messed up on this maze. Yeah, I'm stupid and I don't know how to do things. So can you come pick me up? Dude, this song slaps. Someone, I, there has to be a sick remix of this song somewhere. I can just hear it. I'm gonna blow all my nook miles on this freaking maze today. Listen, Wilbur, can you give me that, that hint? Say there's a tree in your way. You've got two options. Eat some fruit and then dig the whole thing up with a shovel or option two, chop it down with an ax. Thanks. Okay. Shovel. Boom. Equip. Dig the bush. We are going to kick the hole. Fruit. Grab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got this. I got this. Then we go to the right and we get this fruit. Then we dig up this rock and then we get this other fruit. And then we have to eat another fruit to get rid of this tree because unlike Wilbur said, I don't even have an ax in my inventory. So his tip was actually straight up useless. So we do have to consume another fruit. 
But now I'm second guessing myself. What if, what if starting at the left side is actually the right way to go? And they are just totally bamboozling me. Okay, this is all the resources. Um, if I dig up that tree over there, it's a dead end. So do not do that. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning and we have an extra fruit. Go me. We come over here and we get this and we get this and we can eat the fruit. We're still missing two hardwood and two softwood to make a ladder, but maybe we'll find it along the way. Oh, here's two softwood. Okay. Oh, there's the hardwood. But how the heck do I get over there is the question. Why is this so difficult? I can't even get over there. This is impossible. This this maze is actually impossible. Okay, looks like we are giving up once again. Ah, just take my nook miles. I feel like starting on the right side is setting up myself for failure. I feel like that just is not working. So we're gonna start on the left side and see if that makes anything different. I don't know why it would, but we're just gonna do it. I refuse to be made a fool of by this freaking maze. Grab the wood and instead of going right, we're going left and we stop here because we have no fruits. Okay, what if we grab all the fruits from the right side and we just take it over there. Oh my god. What if we did that? Oh, -ho, what if we did that? Bet they weren't expecting me to do that. Bet they weren't expecting me to just totally and utterly make a fool out of this maze. Yeah, I'm the one who is doing the fooling. I am not to be made a fool. Grab this wood. Uh-huh. Okay, we are getting further. We are progressing. Okay, we got two more fruits. Oh my god. Am I actually figuring it out? Maybe so, maybe so. Here's the crafting table that we can't use yet, but that's okay. Okay, now we can do this and grab these two bad boys. Okay, that's the wood that we need. And now we can actually access the crafting table. So I think I just need to figure out how to get out of here. Okay, this way, this way. Now we go back over to the right side. I am assuming I'm gonna make a wild guess. And look at that, we still have the fruit to destroy this rock. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think I'm actually gonna figure it out. I honestly thought this was gonna take me like literally like seven tries and I was so ready to name this video. Like it took me seven tries to beat the maze. I am dumb. Oh no. Wait, I actually might be dumb. Wait, no, how do I get past this tree? What did I do wrong? Why is this maze impossible? Okay, does it actually take that much wood to make a ladder? Yes, it does. I was hoping that it just magically changed, but it didn't. Let's try again, I guess. My my hopes, my hopes and dreams, they have been a little bit dashed, just a tiny bit, but we did make progress. Wilbur, please just use your airplane and just fly me to Rover. I got it this time. I've, I got it this time. Don't even worry about me. I think our strategy of going to the left has been working. I think this is it. I just messed up somewhere here. Getting the wood is the priority. So whatever we have to do to get the wood. Let's get these cherries first. And then I think I made the mistake when I went and hit that rock. I don't think that's necessary yet. We can come back to that. So I'm gonna take my extra cherries and I'm gonna come back over here. Okay, so now, 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 we can get this wood and we got this and we got this. And oh my God, I think, okay, actually this time I think we got it. So now we have all wood except for those two hardwood pieces, which all it is is stuck behind a rock and I have an extra cherry. Look at us, we're about to make a ladder. Okay, so now we can get up here. What is this? A worn axe. We probably have like one hit with that bad boy. So we have to use it wisely. Okay, so we could go there, right? We could go back around and get to this cliff. And we could get two cherries. Come back around and dig those two trees up. I think let's try doing that. And honestly, I'm not even worried about these extra bell tickets. So if we don't get them, like we don't get them. I am not gonna lose sleep over this maze any more than I already am. So we get these two cherries and now I'm scoping out the area. Let's go back to our little trees that we're gonna go dig up with these cherries. They have absolutely no idea what's coming for them. They're just minding their own business being trees. And here I come 
with my super powered axe or shovel I mean because I ate some fruit it was delicious and juicy and now I'm gonna totally uproot you these poor trees just trying to live their lives give us oxygen and here I am ruining their day give me give me give me all right I think this is the exit but I'm assuming I use these two extra cherries to go and get those bell tickets. Well, obviously the first ones are over there. So let's climb up. Goodbye, sir. Gonna make like $20 off of these things. What is this? Really? Three rocks? It's like the freaking three musketeers over here. Get out. Get out of here. Goodbye. Okay, that is it. We actually did it. We did the whole thing and it only took me a couple of tries. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. I'm gonna be a little bit upset if he just gives us the same reward as last time, but we will see. What is up, Rover? Oh, sorry. I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately. We are in a pandemic, Rover. How irresponsible could you possibly be? In fact, there's something I want to give you. One of my favorite briefcases. No. No. Well, I mean, I don't have it on this character on this island, so I guess it's technically new. All right. Well, that was the end of our journey. Thank you, Wilbur, for absolutely nothing. All right. Well, that was fun. A fun little adventure for the day. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and do some other little daily stuff. Check my shops, probably go plant my money tree and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Oh my God, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. They have the ice cream cone. Give me, give me. Oh my God, I want an ice cream cone so bad right now. I have been loving having just like nice desserts after dinner. Oh, it's just been the absolute best. Today I heated up a brownie in the microwave and then sliced up some strawberries and put it on top with a little bit of whipped cream and it was just absolutely chef's kiss, let me tell ya. Oh my god, Bob is doing the zoomies. I love you so much. Please don't stop, you were literally just doing it, oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. You're such a good boy. Okay, continue. Sorry for disturbing you. Literally on the farthest part of my island that you could possibly be. So I was thinking um, today we could move my house. Finally, for once. My house has just been here. Like, I think since I started this island, I put my tent here and it just hasn't moved. I was thinking, you know, we could relocate maybe, you know, change the colors finally. So I think let's do that. And someone did suggest that I should put it at the end of my bridge. Excuse me, Jeremiah. So at the end of this here said bridge. And I think that is a wonderful idea. So I think first we have to get Kraken and build up some more cliffs. That way, you know, I actually have a spot to put it down on. So let's go ahead and do that. I would love to build up even more cliffs like all around this area and just have my house surrounded by just like a ton of waterfalls and stuff. I think that would be so cool. Oh my god, is Bob really sleeping under this tree? Oh my god. This is not a drill. He is so precious. Oh my god. My favorite part about lazies is just like, what do you even do all day? Like, like what are you being lazy for? You already just don't do anything. You have no responsibilities. You know, like I understand if, you know, all my villagers had like jobs and careers or school or something and they were they were being lazy, you know, being lazy with their schoolwork or being lazy with their job or whatever, but your villagers on New Horizons literally don't do anything. They live on an island paradise. Like if Bob is lazy just for liking food and I don't know, talking about bugs, then aren't we all lazy? I don't know how wide my house is, so I don't know how many blocks I have to build up. Is this good enough? I don't think so. I do want like a decent amount of space, you know, so I can actually decorate. So why don't I actually build up the cliffs instead of destroying them? That would be really nice. That would be so great. That would be so great if you could just do that for me. Um, controller slash character slash thumbs. I don't know. Whoever's messing up in this situation, just get it together, please. Okay, I think I'm just gonna add an extra row onto the back and then we will be done because we are getting a little close to my frog mouth right here. So I don't wanna, you know, get too close to it. So this does look like a decent amount of space. I am not gonna leave it like just a square like this. Um, 
I will probably make some little indents, maybe do, I don't know, just something. We'll spice it up a little bit. But I just wanted to build enough surface area so that we could go and put our house down on it first. So now I think it is time for us to go and do that. I would like to relocate. All right, so I wanna push it all the way to the back, probably. Oh, that is actually perfect. That looks good. Oh, look at this cute stuff. This little newspaper helmet, this thing, the little flowers. Oh my god, these are so pretty. I'm gonna order some of these. And I want some of these super funny dudes. And this. Alright, I will see you guys on the other side. Ooh, we have someone at the campsite. Look at all this excitement today. And look at that. We have a new spawn point. Ah, yes. I think I absolutely love this just because of the bridge. Like to walk across this bridge every day is so fun. So that makes me real excited. I know you guys all want to see the campsite villager and <gasps> no, absolute no, 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 no. Sir, should I try to transfer this thought bubble? I think I'm going to. You know what? Let's just get someone the heck out of here. Cheese frog is absolutely not allowed to leave. So I hope this thought bubble transferred to somebody else. Um, I'm not really good at kicking out people, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and now there's no thought bubble. No, I'm scared. I messed it up. I feel like I messed it up. It would be so nice to kick out Egbert or Velma. You know how when you're villager hunting, you're like, oh, uh, Dreamy, please come home. Like if you're looking for Jeremiah, Jeremiah, please come home. I'm the opposite right now. I'm like Velma, please just get out. Like pack your bags. No, it's still cheese frog. Okay, um, we'll try one more time. I think the right way is to save and quit and then go to the next day, but that means that we lose our campsite villager. Uh, I think we lost the bubble, my dudes. I do think that we lost it. I've never been good at kicking people out in the first place, so I'm not gonna be too bad about it. Yeah, better not be Bob. You sleepy boy with your little sandwich. Maybe someone will show up later. You never know. Let's go check our campsite villager. Maybe we get someone cool anyways. You know, maybe we kick someone out this way. Maybe we didn't even need the thought bubble. So let's see. Oh, it's you, Blair. You're cute. She's actually really cute. Oh my God, she says nutlet. That's so adorable. Um. I love you, but I'm gonna leave you because you are not very uh, fitting for my island right now. So goodbye. Ooh, I don't think I have this little teddy bear. And I don't think I have this little cocoa tree, which is super cute. I actually think I want to go put this in my community garden right now. Replace one of those plants that I got going in there. So let's just go do that real quick. All right, I think it's gonna look super cute just right here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I like that a lot better than what I had before. Oh yeah, my house. Oh, okay, I got totally sidetracked from what we were doing because of the whole villager bubble situation, but let's go and customize my house. Okay, so we have to pick something incredible. I don't know what to pick. We have lots of color options to pick from. That area that I'm in is very green, so we could do like a little green roof to match. I like this one with the chimney. Um, This one is a little more bright or kind of like more of a foresty green. I don't know. We'll just go with this for now. The exterior. Let's see. Let's not do green and red because that looks like Christmas. And that's not what we're going for right now. God, I'm so indecisive. Why is it so hard to do kid court? I think I like this green door the best. Even though it doesn't really match the roof. And our mailbox. We could do a blue one for like a little hint, you know, the, the to match the blue of the water of the rivers, you know? I think let's go with this for now. But yeah, like with anything, you know, I can always change this if I don't like it. This doesn't have to be permanent. Um, if I decide to do something crazy with my house, you know, like build a whole little thingy majiggy, I don't know, then I can always change this, so. Okay, so obviously we still have to time travel to tomorrow to have those changes come into effect. So I guess let's do that super quick. And then we will come back and maybe do a couple things to this cliff and then probably be done. This is cute. This is cute. I love our little green yellow house. It kind of matches with the bridge, even though the bridge is a little more bright. I'm just gonna make some adjustments to this cliff just so it's not, you know, just a straight up square. We're gonna add a little bit of variation because 
now that we're kind of getting further back into the island, this is going to be like the more natural area. Um, so we're going to have, you know, alligators just chilling in the grass like so. Thank you, Gail, for adding to the scenery. And yeah, we're just going to make it a little more rounded, a little more natural, starting to differ from the kind of rigid lines of the city. I think I'm going to add a little bit back here. So I'm going to have like a little... I'm thinking like, I don't know, this could be a, just a cute little area back here. Put something on, something cool. Okay, so that's gonna have like that little, this little round area, whatever, I don't know what's going on. Then I kind of wanted to like bring it in a little bit. Just have like a little, little thingamabobber that goes like this, like that. And then I need to move this, um, just so we can fill in that little corner. I kind of want to make a little indent over here too, to match the other side, because it kind of looks, I don't know. Looks a little too boring, so let's do the same. Just something super simple like that. Just to add, I don't know, what's it called? Dimension? So that's what it looks like on the map, if you are interested in that. It's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, my mailbox is missing. I literally just noticed that. There you go. Oh my god, this thing is huge! Whoa! I was not expecting it to be this large. Oh my god. Okay. Here I here I thought it was just gonna be like the size of a street lamp, but no. Uh, okay. Interesting. This is so awesome. I love this thing. So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna be decorating right now. Um, I'll save that for another day when I have more of an idea of what I actually want to do. I don't really know what to put here yet, so we'll figure it out like we always do. That is going to be it from me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had a good time hanging out with me, chilling, doing the maze, and doing a bit of work on our house and stuff. I had a good time, so I hope you did too. Don't forget, if you're new here, to hit that subscribe button if you like content like this. And whether you're new or old or whatever, whoever you are, hit that like button if you liked this video. It really helps me out and I would super duper appreciate it. And if you want to get more of me whenever I'm not making videos or live streaming every Tuesday, then you can go ahead and follow me on my social medias. All links will be down below. Same for the link to my Discord server where we have a lot of Animal Crossing trading channels and all kinds of other good stuff. So be sure to join that if you are interested. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.